The long-awaited Samsung One UI 7.0 beta program is finally here, launching on December 5, just two months after its grand teaser at the 2024 developer conference. This isn't just any software update, it's one of Samsung's biggest overhauls in years, introducing substantial changes to the interface, refining existing features, and adding groundbreaking functionality. This beta program kicks off with the Galaxy S24 series and is set to expand to other devices soon. Although some features in the initial release are not yet functional, subsequent beta updates and the stable release next year promise to unlock the full potential of this update. Let's dive into the changelog and explore all the features, changes, and improvements coming with One UI 7.0. Galaxy AI Assistance One UI 7.0 introduces Galaxy AI, a powerful tool that elevates productivity. Whether you're drafting an email or editing text, Galaxy AI steps in to correct grammar, adjust tone, summarize content, or even write for you based on a snippet. It's a game changer for those who work on the go. Visual Redesign The update embraces a bold new look. From redesigned buttons, menus and notifications to soft animations and a unique blur effect, every detail has been reimagined. App icons now sport fresh visual metaphors and widgets have a consistent, vibrant style. The home screen, whether viewed in portrait or landscape, benefits from simplified grids, adjustable icon sizes, and larger folders for easier navigation. Improved lock screen and always-on display. The new now bar ensures essential tools like media controls and timers are at your fingertips. Lock screen clocks can now be resized, repositioned, or replaced with animated designs, offering unmatched customization. Additionally, widgets can display photos or provide shortcuts to tools like the QR code scanner. Reimagine quick panels. Accessing notifications and quick settings has never been smoother. One UI 7.0 introduces separate panels for notifications and quick settings, customizable layouts, and live notifications that provide real-time updates on activities like timers or workouts. File management. The file picker now makes selecting and attaching files seamless, offering previews and easy navigation between storage locations. On larger screens, a My Files app displays more information at a glance, enhancing productivity. Simplified camera interface. Samsung has reorganized camera controls and modes for better usability. The new design ensures a clearer preview of your shots and enhancements like a 2x lossless zoom button and grid lines help users achieve the perfect composition. Pro modes and video editing. Pro Video Mode introduces zoom speed controls and streamline mix settings. In editing, undo and redo options simplify adjustments, while new animation effects for stickers and text breathe life into videos. Gallery Upgrades Removing unwanted objects from photos is now as simple as a touch and freeform colleges let users create personalized layouts. Most now offer more granular control, allowing users to choose exactly which features to limit. The new battery protection feature lets you set a charging limit anywhere between 80% and 95%, extending battery longevity. Accessibility improvements for users who find pinch zoom challenging. One UI 7.0 introduces the one finger zoom option, making navigation more inclusive and user friendly. The One UI 7.0 beta is not just an update, it's a glimpse into the future of Samsung's mobile experience. From stunning visual changes and intelligent AI features to robust security and health tools, this update is designed to elevate every aspect of your digital life. With more devices set to receive the beta and the promise of a stable release next year, there's plenty to look forward to. Are you as excited as we are for Samsung's One UI 7.0? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. A new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real and it's arriving soon. But now the big question is, how does this special edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the special edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6 239 grams. Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. 
The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9 142.6 x 4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5 x 132.6 x 5.6 millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The Special Edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. However, we do know the Special Edition has an 8.0-inch main display and a 6.5-inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6-inch main display and a 6.3-inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120Hz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the Special Edition is made with Barilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and it features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, the Special Edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16 gigabytes of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12 gigabytes. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512 gigabytes of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or 1 TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4,400 mA unit although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200 megapixel main camera compared to the 50 megapixel sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the four megapixel under panel camera. The Special Edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The Special Edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the Special Edition will be priced at around $2,789,600 won or $2,036, while the 512 gigabytes Fold 6 goes for $2,388,101 or $1,743. Ultimately, the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 200 megapixel camera. But if S Pen support is important to you, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 might still be the better choice. Either way, both of these foldables are top-tier devices, each with its own strengths.